What is up guys, Badger1 here with Badger Team. I am going to shoot a short video, we'll see how short it's going to be. I uh, have been playing around with this uh, Drongo module that I found called uh, Drongo's Base Defense. Um, this is a really cool module to use if you want to set up just a simple base defense uh, mission um, for your players, your team, your guys uh, to play. Uh, this is on the map Fallujah. I have built me a uh, fob here in the middle of this little clearing. Uh, we're sort of, uh, how would I say? Um, yeah, kind of west of the main city, but over here, kind of near the hospital area, um, northwest of the hospital. Uh, I like this area because it's got some open open ground nice clear lines of sight but it still has some foliage and stuff I added some uh, vehicles uh, destroyed vehicles um, that kind of thing uh, to kind of give the enemy a chance to uh, take some cover behind instead of just being all out in the open uh, I'm continually tweaking this mission right now uh, before we play it for real on Friday night uh, but uh, this is just the, the basic breakdown this is the module right here uh, you can get this uh, module uh, on Steam uh, like I said, it's called Drongo's Base Defense. Uh, super simple setup. Uh, it just downloads one module into your game. It's called Core. You put it down on your map. Choose your side. Uh, enemy kills uh, to win the mission. I have it set at 300, which is pretty high. Um, you can set a time limit. So um, if that's your preferred method of play, if you want to try to have your team survive for you know, at least 20 minutes, uh, and then raise the size of your squads. You can do that. Uh, enemy squads in the, in the wave uh, will be three. Uh, this is a squad size. Uh, chance of vehicles uh, percent to spawn is 40, uh, and they will spawn about 600 meters from uh, your base location. Um, and I have a pretty good idea that the way this works is kind of like the uh, um, get player pause uh, script that you can do. Um, so that the enemies track to where the players are located. Uh, so basically you put the module down. Uh, I've put all of my enemies kind of a distance away. Um, I'm using uh, some modded units here. Uh, this is gonna be a mix of uh, Al-Shabaab fighters, um, just your basic terrorist types. Um, I do have some helos down, um, but all of these are from uh, the Community Factions Project. Uh, mod. If you don't have that one downloaded in your game, I highly recommend it. It's it's got some really great content. Uh, anyway, more terrorist fighters over here. Got a few vehicles. T fifty five. Got a BTR sixty here with some troops on it. Uh, got a Hind and a, a KA. Uh, what is that? KA sixty. Uh, multiple, uh, just technical vehicles, and trucks, and that kind of thing down. So what the module does when it launches is it works kind of like a Drongo's map population or area of operations is that it basically gathers all these units, um, gets all of their um, their tags, their call tags, and then it's going to delete every one of these and then it randomly chooses which ones to spawn in any given wave. So here's my fob. I've sort of set out some anti-personnel mines to kind of help me since I am going to be running this by myself. Um, these guys will spawn in a 360 degree radius, so you don't really know what direction they're going to be coming from. Uh, I've got me a tower position here. I've got multiple uh, weapon emplacements. Um, I've got me a Humvee down here uh, with the Avenger launcher on it in case those helicopters do spawn. I've got some bunkers over here with uh, mounted 50s. Um, I've got a tow position over here. I've got uh, my M1128 um, vehicle over here in a vehicle bunker. Um, I think that's it for all my heavy weapons. Oh, I do have a mortar position here with crude with unlimited ammo. So if you start to get kind of swarmed when we play, uh, we can use the mortar position. Um, other than that, I have no supports put down for my uh, guys defending the base to use. This is pure, purely going to be guns on and uh, what the you know what the troops have inside the base on hand to defend themselves uh, and they have to do it through 300 enemies so and that includes vehicles armor 
uh, technical vehicles and the like. So uh, the other thing that I didn't mention is uh, with this module, one of the things that you said is the spawn delay. And so right now I have it set at uh, 120 seconds. Uh, so two minutes I have to equip myself, get into a fighting position and get ready for the waves to start coming um, before the enemies attack me. So uh, we'll save this and I do want to run this out of editor so I can have the chance to respawn and stuff. So we're going to play this and see how it goes. I'll do me. No AI on my other teammates. This is the first true play test that I've done with it in its final configuration, what I think is going to be the final configuration. So uh, we'll see how it goes. See what the enemy composition is going to be like. Um, probably going to end up putting me a base marker down and maybe a, an area so you'll kind of know where you're fighting at. I may do that after I get done with this. So uh, here I am. Um, I'm just a uh, basically a Delta Force fighter here. I've got an arsenal set up. So I know I have two minutes. I'm going to go into arsenal, pick one of my standard kits that I usually run. And then I'm going to get myself up into this big tower over here. Uh, let's do. One of the uh, options for the module is, uh, let me adjust the sound so you can hear me a little better. Configure audio. That's a little better. Um, is the weather and the time. If you leave that at random, it can change it to nighttime. You can turn those features off so that um, you can use uh, the regular set mission time and editor and you can adjust the weather settings the way you want them. So if you want it all fogged out or if you want it dark, you can do that. All right, so let's go out here. I've got us a mounted 50 up here. So like I said, really they can come from any angle. I've got another arsenal up here with a couple of stinger launchers in case we get those helicopters to spawn and come to get us. If we're up here on the tower, at least we have some type of defense. We could probably use the 50 cals too. And right now, I'm not seeing any enemy. Just kind of have to keep doing the walk around the perimeter here. I've got these sandbags. Oh shoot, I may move those. I didn't know you couldn't get through there. Makes you go all the way around. But I put the sandbags up here so you could get up here and uh, and rest your weapon on the side. You can't do that if you don't have a little bit of a raise. It won't let you do that on these metal towers. So because I didn't have the weather um, de deactivated or set to false, it went ahead and started making it rain. So I figure two minutes have just about run out. We should start seeing some enemy spawn here in a minute. There they are way out there. You can see them way out in the distance. And so they're going to make their way to my location. That is a lot of guys. I may want to get on this 50 right here. And like I said, they're coming to this pause, and this isn't the only group. Um, three different groups will spawn, and they will attack from different directions, so we're going to have to... be kind of vigilant here and not try to get hunkered down into one spot. I don't know why I'm already wounded. Let's wait for these guys to get a little closer and then I'll 
put some rounds on them and just see what they do. There's some more guys coming through the tree line out there. And they do have a vehicle. get that vehicle taken out okay so somebody over here has an SPG 9 or a Metis or something and somebody just hit one I believe one of my yep I had placed some mines out in that road over there Take my suppressor off. Put a fresh mag in here. So I've got guys attacking me from northwest and from the south. Yeah, I had put some uh, slam mines in the road out there in case they did send a vehicle, and that's exactly what they did. Already got a guy remounted on a gun out there. Take this guy out. I'm gonna have to rework this kit so that it doesn't spawn with this. Let's see this truck again. They got me. Alright, so now I'm going to spawn downstairs. Should Ruxbury spawn downstairs? Yep. Let's get on. Okay, why did it mission fail? Uh, let's go back and see why this is set the way it is. Still playing with this module. Let's see why it mission failed. But there's an option in there that I didn't turn off. But yeah, they will come after you with the vehicles. I might go out there into my enemies and remove some of the. Because uh, I know that was a a Metis missile that hit me from the end on that one side with the 50 cal that came from range and I can see it coming in um, system presence systems transformation Spawn distance, weather, time, debug mode is on FOSS. I'm assuming that if you, there is not a condition to turn on or off if all players are dead or alive. So, if all of your team dies, whether or not there's a spawn active, the mission fails. So at least somebody is going to have to stay alive the entire time. I'm going to come out here and adjust some of these infantry though because I know I have. That's a Dishka Gunner. Dishka Gunner Assistant. 
Regular RPG guys, what's this? Okay, that's a tow. Let's get rid of the tow gunner. I think I have another one in this bunch. One of these bunches has a Metis or a something. I don't mind the uh, the RPGs and the SPG-9s. There he is. But when they have laser-guided rockets so they can very accurately target your positions, that's going to make it a little difficult. So these are my fighters here. You know what, let's go ahead and tone down. You're going to get 300 fighters regardless. So let's change the size of our enemy squads. Let's reduce that between 5 not 110, just 10. So you can have uh, three squads. Enemy squad size can vary between the minimum being five and the max being 10. So at the minimum, I could ha be fighting 15 guys at once or 30 guys at once. That sounds a little better. Let's turn this random weather off. And the random time is already set to false. Okay. Let's save it the way that it is and go back and try this again. Hopefully we won't get snaked by a freaking tow missile or a Metis missile. Now that my Metis gunners are gone. But the vehicles I'm thinking are definitely going to have to be target priority number one. As soon as they, as soon as you see them, you better go ahead and take them out. I'll go back in a minute and put the marker in the zone and everything on there too. All right, so here we are. Let's go into Arsenal. I think I'm going to use my OSW foul too. It's got a little bit longer range. OSW heavy. Let's do that one. What in fact, let's do this so I could switch out. Let's dump this optic. I hate the optic on that. Um, put our RCO in our bag and let's get a longer range scope for my foul. That way, I can reach out and touch some of these targets that are further away. Let's go with maybe a Uh, let's do a no, a little too big. <laughs> yeah, still a little big. No. We need something that's gonna let's just put my Leopold Holo on there. That'll work. Alright, up in the tower we'll go. You notice the rain didn't start because we turned the weather off. get up here and get set and true to form if the module functions like it's supposed to we should get uh, a whole new set of enemies spawning from a whole different direction a new makeup of enemies so the vehicles and the troop makeup and everything should be completely different than it was last time but we'll see. I'm glad I put this 50 up here though. I took that vehicle out from way down there at the end of the road while ago. Note to self, I need to remove these sandbags as well because I don't like being able to not being able to get back behind that. And here we go. We've already got new enemies spawning out southeast about 150. So 
and set at about 300 and see. Yeah. And so see the, the squad size is smaller. Of these guys, I'm not even being able to hit them at all. 319. All right, let's see where these enemies are coming from. So I'm taking fire from over here at the right now. I already got mortars. Somebody's got a mortar backpack. Swore somebody was shooting a mortar at me a minute ago. Maybe it's just a long range rifle. All right, so they're semi accurate. They knew that I'm up here. Yep, I got a vehicle on the road over here. Looks like a technical. Let's get on this 50 and take them out and see if we can. Yeah. It may mission fail me. Yep. Yeah. Yep, so that's the one hang up I see with this uh, particular module is that it automatically mission fails if everyone is dead since I'm the only player. I guess what I could do for purposes of testing, I can come in here and just add me some blue four compadres down below. I am running VCOM AI in this mission, so. If I do put any blue four guys down, they're probably more than likely going to want to get in vehicles and stuff. So, a couple of things I need to do here. Come on, load up for me. So, since I know that I'm going to put blue four guys in here, I'm going to go ahead and take all of the fuel out of my vehicles because they will try to drive off with them if I don't. This one I want here in case those hel helos spawn. But I don't want my AI to drive off with. So I got a couple of 50s here. Let's come down and put Let's give us some 75th Ranger Regiment guys down here on these guns. Put one there. Put one there. Let's put some guys over here in this tower. Let's do a marksman sniper. The M110. You know what? Let's go ahead and have this guy crew this weapon. 
Come on, on group. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and put him on this 20 millimeter, and uh, go ahead and have a guy on this tow launcher down here as well. So. if they decide to send any vehicles this way. I'll go ahead and put a guy up here in this tower with me. And I wanted to delete these sandbags since they're in the way. All right, so we'll put, uh, add us a rifleman here. Add a rifleman up here. Maybe put one on this second level right down here. Come on, guy. There you go. All right, so now we have more blue four guys in our base besides just us. Now, right, what else was I gonna do? Oh yeah, marker on our position. Let's do, where are we at? Here we go. So we kind of give our, my players an idea of where we are. Let's do flags. Let's just do a US flag. Just call it that. Move that there. And let's retest this. Okay, try it one more time. This is kind of twofold. You kind of get to see my mission building test playing procedure here. So we're going to equip and make the top of the tower try to. All right, so arsenal. Since most of these guys are long range, I'm going to go ahead and grab my M110 kit that I have made. And we'll just take it to the top of the tower and go to work. <laughs> this chode fell off of the tower. Good job, dude. You're still there. You're not going to jump off, are you? Buzzard. I got guys saying area clear. Oh, yeah, just wait. My AI have no idea what's coming. And we have no idea where these guys are going to come from. I think I'm going to leave the suppressor on my rifle too. Should be spawning here in just a minute. So for the two times we've test played, we've had guys spawn southeast and then again south and then we had guys spawn northwest both times. So northwest seems to be a pretty popular spot for them to come from. There's my Carl Gustav Rifleman. And I guess one way to make sure that the mission doesn't end even if all of your live players are not dead is you could put an AI down like maybe on one of these guys and make him damage false that way he never dies that would be one way to ensure that your mission would never close out even if all of your live players were dead um, there's no triggers or anything on here um, 
restricting his movement. So even if he was to run to the other side of Fallujah over there, the mission would still be, there would still be one blue four alive. So the mission would still continue to run for now until I find another fix. That's probably what I'm going to do. Not seeing anybody just yet. All right. Somebody's lighting them up. going to work. Alright, we've got guys attacking from northeast now. Those guys are about 400 meters away. here. And here comes one of our helos. Alright, I need to get downstairs and get on that freaking Avenger. You are in my way, Jack. You need to move. Fairly certain that got that guy on the run. There's still somebody out there. There he is. Got him. Alright, the fire has stopped. And all of my guys are yelling clear. So that was the first wave of enemies. Got a whole bunch of guys that got taken out out here. Guy on that 20 mic mic down there on that... Um, right down here. He was going to work. I got one guy standing outside the gate down here. That was pretty good. So that particular test, we had no guys come from the northwest at all. They all attacked from the east.
and uh, I got eight kills. All, all the rest of my team got multiples. I may just put one guy in here to make it more challenging for the live players in the game. But I really don't have any way of knowing how many spawned. But that worked pretty well. Even had a helo come in that I guess one of my 50 gunners took out. This guy on the 50 was just rocking it. And I just heard some random rifle fire come from somewhere. It sounded like out southwest maybe. So basically even if all 30 guys spawned that still leaves 270 enemies that are going to spawn before we win the mission and they will continue to spawn in two minute intervals so you have about a two minute rest in between each engagement to refit get fresh mags anything like that before the next wave comes in and that two minute clock is going to be running out here just shortly I won't fight through the next wave but I just want to see if they spawn in the directions that they spawn from that was pretty sick though that that guy shot that bird down coming in alright there's a random rifle fire again west Oh, yeah, right. I need to move. Any shots from right here, don't Hostile down. One guy deployed a dishka out here. Laying prone. I'm assuming that if this ammo in these 50s run dry, these probably guys will probably. All right, here they come. They're coming in from the uh, from the west now. These boys are out there. Thirty meters, four twenty-five, something like that. Finally got him. All right, my grenade launcher guy is going to work on somebody over here. Somebody set up. I do not like that this guy is just standing in the doorway. You're gonna have to move, dude. Somewhere in that tree line, they've set up a disco. That's what that is. Anyway, all right, so that works pretty good. 
think I want to limit the guys on the base and I'm going to make one of them I'm going to make one of them damage fall so he can never die that way he will always be alive take away a few of these fighters I think I'm only going to put one 50 cal gunner downstairs leave the guy on the 20 millimeter launcher take away the guys on the tower because I think that one of those guys is climbing up the stairs and blocking that doorway like if I do away with him I think he's trying to come up is what I think is happening because these two guys here stay on their guns all right let's take away you take away you and we will take away this guy and on this particular gentleman we are going to make you where you cannot be killed damage falls God, it's been so long since I used that I don't know if damage falls is all one word or not all right and we will save it just like that so the module works the enemies generate they come from multiple directions um, this is going to be a hard fight, I will tell you that. Um, I've got some a APB mines set out around the base, and if they get too close, I've got mines on the road out there, APB mines over here and out here. Um, man, that helo was unexpected, and I couldn't get downstairs to the Avenger vehicle to take him out. I'm glad that 50 gunner got him. But, uh, Overall works pretty cool, and I'm happy with it. So I'm going to run this mission for the guys on Friday, and uh, we will see how it goes. Um, see if I can put a link to the uh, download for this uh, Drongo's defense, uh, base defense, uh, in the video description. So you guys can have access to it quickly. Thanks for watching.